whistle blew, I thought to myself, how many places have I left in the world never to return? Ah, that the time of my science fiction book could be occurring now, and I could rejuvenate, rejuvenate my body indefinitely into the centuries, into the future. I'm just curious whether this might be the remains of a volcano. Look on the map, Iceland seems like such a discreet, lonely, small outpost in the North Atlantic. But when you're gazing like this, and this is on telephoto a bit, you realize how vast this area is. And the body of water we're panning across right now is a big, huge fjord between Sail, Ness Peninsula, and the Westwards, which is where I'm going. This just cuts off the, a day of solid driving. It's the small island of Flatty that the ferry makes a brief stop at. And if you have some bizarre need, you can spend the night here, or as long as you want. People, the lady in the dark black with her purse hanging in her right hand, came to visit the lady next to her. The rest are just tourists, and there are some more getting off for their adventure or experience or story on Platy Island. Don't think those are the local taxis, but might well be if you have any place to go. See how this splice is finished off. moment he's going to crash into the dock, but he doesn't. I guess it's not his first rodeo. Goodbye, Flatty Island. And that's it. You love remote when you live here. on the other side of the island. Got off the ferry a few moments ago, probably 15 minutes now, and picked the first spot I could find. I had to drive back to it to spend the night, and this is it. location for a farm and notice that falls way up there.
those little dark spots that look like something the oceans left behind are in fact what look like little worms of sand, but what I think they are is deposits of something that is underneath there that's alive. I don't know what it is. I haven't seen this before to my knowledge. See how they look like worms, but more like what came out of a worm, I'm thinking. That you see bigger mounds, not necessarily more, but bigger mounds where the water has remained longer. Where it's dried out, they're much smaller. And I'm suggesting that the little critters that live here in this drier area don't have as much time to do this mound building as these critters over here do. Whatever that means. A remaining headland. turning into a pretty night. This seaweed is apparently something that existed here or was kicked up here when the tides were much higher during some part of the year. And now that the tides don't come this high up, they've all died and dried out along with piles of other refuse including this is where the farmers apparently decide to dump their tires go figure seems too much a happenstance that there should be one two three four five six seven and then another tire further down to the right I think Fowlersneff whatever it is National Park that we at yesterday is there you can see the top of the volcano the ice is cap, I think. Could be wrong. Once again, I'm somewhat confused as to where Snape House School mountain is, but I think that may be it there, now that the clouds have dissipated across the bay a bit. Sure looks like it, doesn't it? Check out Rocket Mortgage today at Quicken Loans. My next morning, you can see the pattern so atypical, apparently, of Iceland. <laughs> Don't complain, just take it. And there's the direction we go. Last night I could hear some of the sheep rubbing up against the van for some reason. I saw them scratching themselves yesterday by rubbing against one of the road barriers. There is the top of the mountain that I just climbed up, my first mountain that I've just come up on a car. I hear this interesting monument to somebody. Spectacularly rugged country and remote in the sense of density of people and drivers, <laughs> but a great highway considering the population. Notice our brilliant green, or at least lime green moss again, but over on the far side you can see the gray moss. It's just interesting to imagine what percent of this land is this high, moss-covered, devoid of animal, remote, pretty much inaccessible except by helicopter or foot, land. Three beautiful swans that I startled off of a side of the cliff or of the side of the hill to my left and they skittered across the street one of them slamming into the water in a kind of a jumbled, uncoordinated manner, most unswan-like. Another flotilla of birds. 